Hi, and welcome to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. Today, we're on location at a crawfish boil with Jimmy Babin of Creative Cajun Cooking. He's cooking up big pots of red beans and jambalaya, and he's boiling almost a full ton of crawfish for the Gulf South Rotating Machinery Symposium at the Crown Plaza Hotel in Baton Rouge. We'll show you how he feeds this hungry crowd and gets a little help from his friends. So stay tuned right here to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. We'll be right back. Hi, and welcome back to the Outdoor Kitchen Show. I'm Marissa Turner, and today we are on location in Baton Rouge at the Crown Plaza Hotel with Jimmy Babin of Creative Cajun Cooking. Now, he has a couple of pounds of crawfish to boil today. Jimmy, how many pounds are you boiling? 1,826 pounds fixing to go in the water. That's a lot of crawfish. Lot now, of crawfish. that's a lot of preparation, too. It's not just yeah. dumping crawfish in the water. How do you get started? You said you've been going since 5 o'clock this morning. Yeah, but that didn't count what yesterday was either. So yeah. you had to do the mixed emulsion pudding, mm -hmm. uh, four big pans of that. You got 25 gallons of marinated vegetable salad. All that had to be chopped, sliced, and diced. And the finishing touches put on at 5 this morning. And then we had the crawfish come in around 8 o'clock this morning to go in the walk-in cooler. And then we had corn and potatoes already on site. So just a matter of load everything up in the walk-in cooler. And uh, propane up and head on to Baton Rouge, get ready to farm up. That's right. Now, in front of me is Jimmy Babin's own uh, Creative Cajun Cooking Seafood Boil. And it comes in the, it's what, five pounds in a bag like this? Yeah, five pounds to a bag, or you got a 25-pound box. That's what that is, 25-pound box. Okay. And how many of these are you going to use? Oh, I'll only go through uh, 10 pounds per 100 pounds of crawfish for the first batch because I got I can do only 1,200 pounds at one sitting, so I have 1,800. I'm going to split it in two batches today, so I'll only use the 90 pounds of boil to start with, and then 45 pounds for the second batch, because only half of what you need for the second boil. You can only do 1,200 pounds at once. I'm so sorry. Gee. I, I could <laughs> get a bigger a lot pot. of crawfish. It's hard to find a customer to take them all at one lick. That's right. Now, now that's a lot of crawfish. How many people are we feeding today? Well, it's supposed to have about 400, but you never know what shows up. Right, they, especially when it's a crawfish boil. They'll be calling all their friends in Baton Rouge right. saying, come on over. So Jimmy always has more than he needs. Now, the guys were just asking you uh, what to do first. What goes in the water first? Right. I, I, I put uh, only uh, 25 and another 12, so that's, what, 37? Pound. Okay, of what? <laughs> of a seafood ball in the water. Okay, all right. Okay, and that way, it's about half of what you would normally use for the crawfish. It goes in first, and it takes care of take, doing the potatoes and the corn. Okay. Potatoes will go in the water first. I got 100 pounds of potatoes. That's not a lot, but it's those little BBs. Right. Uh -huh. And then I got uh, five cases of corn, so that's 96 ears to the case. So everybody get an ear of corn, have a little lanyard. Okay, now speaking of lanyard, you got other stuff too. You got red beans oh, yeah. and stuff. I got uh, red beans and ham over white rice, and I got uh, pork and chicken and sausage jambalaya going. Okay. And now that's perfect for a group like this because some of them are Yankees. They probably that's might right. go through one pound of crawfish, and they'll fill up on the beans and rice. And that's everything. correct. Yeah. Okay. Um, so what, do you, what you got going on now? They, they boil in the water? <clears throat> they got water hot. The seasoning just went in, and we're going to drop in the potatoes first. They'll go about five minutes and before the corn goes in. Okay. And then after that, I have a big uh, warmer with pans in it, and we just dump all the, the corn and potatoes in the pans, and we bring it out to the site where we're going to do by the pool. Got a table line set up so that you can put these uh, little pea rows and uh, Lafitte skiff, mm -hmm. cute little decorated thing, mm -hmm. and the corn goes in the pea row, and I mean the corn goes in the Lafitte skiff, potatoes goes into the pea row. And you only do one pan at a time so you can keep them hot and That's don't right. sit there and get cold. That's right, because we, we, you, uh, you see it's a little bit breezy out here today. Oh, yeah. Stuff's going to get cold if you don't take precautions, and that's how you do yours. Correct. So you just put a little bit at a time and just replenish it as it goes. That's right. Okay. And then the, the black iron pot stuff, we'll have a pot of rice, a pot of beans, and a pot of jambalaya, and that way we can uh, serve them through in a direction, one direction. And they get that plate full, they pick up the crawfish tray, they load the crawfish and stuff on the tray, and go sit down. 
That's right. Now your black iron pots are on casters, so you can just roll it over there and serve right out of the big pot. Correct. Okay. The older I get, the bigger the wheels you need to be. <laughs> That's right. Now, speaking of which, Jimmy has designed lots of helping hands on his rig, from the wheels on his pots to the overhead hoist system on the trailer. The overhead hoist pulls up the chains connected to the custom boiling baskets, so nobody has to try to lift 1,200 pounds of crawfish out of boiling hot water. That's not but 100 pounds. I don't know what y'all worried about. This is just a handful. <clears throat> Wait till you do a big one. All right. All right, come on down. That's all good. All right. <clears throat> Okay, we'll put the potatoes in, and what, about five minutes? Yeah, you can go ahead and pick, give them about five minutes in there. You can get a little more fire under it if you want. Okay, wait, <clears> five <throat> minutes for the potatoes, and then you put the corn? Yeah, then you're going to put the corn, so it takes a little bit longer for the potatoes. You don't want the corn to get overdone, and everything will come out together. Look at all the ham in that thing right there. Holy, ever-loving moly. That's that's, that's three of those great big old hams that are back leg of the hog. Huh? I got about uh, 35 pounds of red bean in this pot. Of course, you see the pot ain't full. That's a big pot. How that's big a, is that pot? Oh, that's uh, 31 gallons is all that is. 31 gallons. Then we got the jumble on this side. No, that's, I don't have the rice. That's got the temple meat. I use temple meat for the hog, and we're fixing to put some boneless, skinless chicken thighs in there. And we, once we get that cooked, then we can put the sausage in and the rice in. That's a lot of food, I promise you. But it's not, it's not near enough <laughs> for a big crowd. This is a little crowd. Ain't but 400 people. I don't know what you worry about. We got the time to dump some chicken in there. I got the temple meat in there and it's not cooked till it got tender. And we'll dump a little boneless, skinless chicken thighs in there. A bag at a time. That's, this is uh, about 40 pounds of boneless, skinless thighs we're dumping in. Some bags are a little less than 10, some are a little more than 10, but the overall case is about 40, 41 pounds. Now that the potatoes have been boiling for a little while, it's time to get the corn going. And when the potatoes and corn are both done, they'll go in warming trays while the crawfish is cooking. Now while we're waiting for that, we've got some folks to talk to. Now we're here with one of the members of the conference that of all this crawfish is for. This is Dennis Shibley. Shibley. Shibley, I got it right. <laughs> now, Dennis, what do you do for the group? Um, I've been on the committee for four years now. Uh, took me the better part of two years to convince them to have a crawfish boil. Uh huh. And so this has kind of been my baby since the beginning with this conference. Now y'all did this last year as well. Last year was the first year. And everybody loved it. Everybody loved it. And uh, what we had done before was just chicken fingers in the conference room. And, and so, you know, I said, we need to have a function where everybody stays. And, and I had seen Jimmy at the ammonia conference and got in touch with him and I said, here's what I want to do. And he worked with me. And now this has become an integral part of the conference. Everybody looks forward to it. The sponsors step right up to the plate to help support it and make it happen and we just have a wonderful time and everybody hangs around and talks and has a much better social activity at a technical conference. Right, now what kind of a technical conference is it? These are all people that deal with the large rotating machinery within the refineries, oh, okay. chemical plants, offshore drilling platforms, gas transmission type facilities. All that stuff that's desperately vital here in Louisiana for sure <laughs> right. and speaking of vital is having a great crawfish connection in the oh, month of yes. March okay because <laughs> this is the first week of March well first full week of March it's early on and Jimmy you got some big bugs over there nice bugs it's just real early in the year yeah <laughs> we had to stretch them yeah Jimmy had to make a few phone calls to get some good stuff and it looks like some real good stuff over there and I think everybody's going to enjoy it well we're we're adjusting our conference to suit uh, because you have to book these large conferences more than a year in advance mm -hmm. but next year we're moving out about a week and two years from now we'll be out two weeks later oh well, there just you go. to get a little closer to 
better bug time. Better yeah, bug time. you'll, you'll get a better price on them. But these are some really nice ones today. Yes. And the weather's gorgeous, oh. too. So, I mean, you, you well, can't. I'm going to take credit for that. There you go. Because if a good it had been thing. raining, it would have been my fault. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> and it's a real pretty setup over there, too, in front of in the back of the Crown Plaza. It's a nice little swimming pool. It's too cold for swimming, but it's really nice. We'll have the tables around the pool, and everybody can just kind of self-serve as they go through the line and stack up all the good stuff between the crawfish and the red beans and the jambalaya and the corn and potatoes and all that good stuff. That's so. right. Now we've got to take a quick break, but when we come back, we'll show you what 1,800 pounds of boiled crawfish looks like here on the Outdoor Kitchen Show. <laughs> 